Larry used to hate it when people said, I'm sorry. He said, instead of saying, I'm sorry, live your life in a way where you don't have to say, I'm sorry. But that's all I can say, even though it's wholly inadequate. All I can say is I'm so sorry. Lori Eisenberg received a life sentence today in the 2018 murder of her husband, Larry. She won't be eligible for parole for 30 years, including time served, meaning she will be in her late 90s by the earliest possible date that she could be released. Now, during her sentencing earlier today, family members spoke about Larry as a loving father and grandfather. Our Ian Smay was at that sentencing hearing today. He has more now on what family members said before Larry or before Lori rather was sentenced. Ian. Four of Larry Eisenberg's children and stepchildren spoke before Judge Scott Wayman today about the pain of losing their father at the hands of their mother, Lori. We also finally heard from Lori about the events leading up to her husband's death on Lake Coeur d'Alene before Judge Wayman handed down a sentence that will likely see her die in prison. It was an emotional morning inside courtroom one at the Kootenai County District Courthouse on Monday. The manner in which I lost my father, Larry Eisenberg, has left a hole in my soul that I will never be able to fill. Children and stepchildren of Larry Eisenberg spoke as Judge Scott Wayman considered how long of a sentence to give Larry's wife Lori in his 2018 murder. Lori had entered an Alford plea, meaning she wasn't admitting guilt, but agreeing that the state had enough evidence to prove her guilty on a charge of second degree murder. The family was not satisfied with the plea, calling it a slap in the face. Prosecutors say Eisenberg gave Larry a drink containing a lethal amount of Benadryl while they were on Lake Coeur d'Alene on February 13th, 2018. They said the motive was to kill him before he could find out about Lori's embezzlement. Lori is currently serving time for stealing more than $500,000 from the North Idaho Housing Coalition. I'm so sorry for everything I did. Starting with the embezzlement that resulted in the lies, deceit, and ultimate betrayal of the love and the trust of the people I love, especially Larry. Lori was linked to his death after detectives discovered she had been searching the internet for information on drownings, including in Florida, where they had just visited on a vacation. I want to state emphatically that I am responsible for Larry's death. Absolutely. Eisenberg claimed she brought a drink with a large amount of Benadryl on the boat, intending to drink it herself. But somehow, Larry drank it. We don't know how he ended up in the water. Search crews found his body two weeks later. An autopsy report revealed he had died due to an overdose of Benadryl. In court, the family described Larry as a loving family man. He was an incredible person. He was extremely hardworking and has insatiable thirst for knowledge. He actively saw opportunities to learn something new every day, and he loved sharing that knowledge with by teaching others and encouraging them to learn and grow too. In all, today's hearing took a little less than three hours before Eisenberg was sentenced, and Eisenberg herself spoke for about 45 minutes. She talked about that embezzlement and the emotions that her family has gone through in the past few years. And the judge also said that he believes that Eisenberg actually does think that she did not intend to kill her husband, but that her version of events don't line up with the facts of the case. In Coeur d'Alene, Ian Smay, Creme 2 News.